Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is applications. And I'm going to do one of each type. I'm going to do one where I'll use geometric formulas and one where I'll use the, the sum of the rectangles. Alright, so the first example is suppose Joe's Bakery found that its marginal cost in dollars per wedding cake is given by that derivative, negative 0.12x plus 40, where x is the number of wedding cakes produced. Find the total cost of producing 30 wedding cakes. So first of all, I'm going to draw the picture. This is the geometric example. And the reason why I know it's a geometric is because the derivative's a nice line. All right, so we want to find the area under the derivative from x equals 0 to 30. All right, so I'm going to draw the picture, and again, you can use the calculator to help you. It is a line. We're going to start at 0, stop at 30. So I'm just going to plug in 0 and 30 into my derivative. So when I plug 0 in, I get 40 out, so I'm just going to mark that off. There's the starting point, 0, 40. And then when I plug 30 in, actually, since it's decreasing, I might need to look a little higher. 0, 40. When I plug, so again, I'm plugging 30 into my derivative, so I'm going to take negative 0.12 times 30 plus 40, and so that comes out to 30.4. Uh, it doesn't decrease by too much. 36.4, 36 36.4. Alright, and so there's my, and it's a line, right? The slope is negative 0.12, y-intercept is 40. Connect the two dots and draw a line, it is a straight line. And so there's my derivative, and so this is the area we're looking for. All right, so this is the area, uh, which since last time I found it using a right triangle and a square, which you could do that again with this one because it does break down into a right triangle and a square, right? That would be my right triangle and my that square rectangle. Um, but since the book does trapezoids, I am going to do one example as a trapezoid. You can always look up the area of a trapezoid. All right, so this is a trapezoid. If I find this area, it is a... All right, so if you remember, the area of a trapezoid is A plus B over 2 times H. So A and B would be the top of my trapezoid and the bottom of my trapezoid. H is the height of my trapezoid. And so if I'm looking at it, this distance here would be A, this distance here would be B, this is the H, the height of my trapezoid. All right, so B would be this total distance, A would be this total distance, and height, so it's got sort of a trapezoid, it's sitting on its side, so if, you, if I draw it the other way, There's the trapezoid. This is sort of the way you look at it. This would be B, this would be A, and this would be H. All right, if you want to think about it that way. All right, that's this H here, same distance. All right, that's the trapezoid. All right, so the area of a trapezoid would be top base plus bottom base divided by 2 times the height of the trapezoid. All right, the height of the trapezoid is the distance between the two bases, the A and B. All right, so in this case, A would be this distance here. Well, that distance there is the 36.4, right? That's this Y value, 36.4, so 36.4. B would go all the way up here. B would be the height 40, this distance 40. H would be the distance between the two. Well, the distance between the two is going from 0 to 30, so H would be 30 in this case, all right? So this distance is the 36.4. This distance is the 40. The height is this distance, which is 30. All right? And then you plug them into your trapezoid equation. So you're going to get 36.4 plus 40 divided by 2 times 30. All right? And that would be the area of a trapezoid. All right? So you take 40 times 36.4 divided by 2. Give me a second. I'll type it out of my calculator. Times 30. Make sure you're careful. Do this first and then times 30 comes out to 1146. Alright, 
And so that would be the total cost. Because if you think about this in terms of the units, right, if you're finding the area here, this area gives me the cost, right? Because the cost would be taking the number of units, so it would be 30 cakes, times the derivatives, which is the dollars per cake. So the cake part cancels out, and so the cost is that area, which is 1,146. And so it cost $1,146 to make 30 cakes. All right, and so that's a geometric application example. And so the next one's going to be one where I'm going to use um, rectangles, and I'm only going to do the left sum. Uh, since that's what the book asks for. The book asks for just the left sum. Although you should be able to do left and right like the example that I did earlier. Um, but since the book only does applications from the left, I will only do an application from the left. But I'm going to do that in the next video.